Good morning, gamers. Welcome back to Lucky Mob Survival, episode number 118. Ah, the wolf farm, the full warm, the full warm. It's been going so good. We've been working on it so hard for episodes and episodes now, but I need a break. Before the break, though, check this out. Look at all of this wool. So much wool. There's even more than the last episode. Just by a little bit. Half a stack of black wool already. 36 gray wool. It's crazy. The production is off the charts. Absolutely through the roof on this build. It, it's perfect. This is what we always wanted. However, I've noticed an issue. Purple sheep, a cyan sheep, red sheep, white sheep. There's problems at the end. I need to look at it. Maybe we'll look at it near the end. Today we're going to do something different. We've been working on the wool farm for a long time and it's not done yet. There's a lot more work that needs to happen. A couple episodes worth probably, but it's been a long project. I want to switch gears and work on a couple other things. Today, we're going to do something completely different. Something that we haven't done in a long time. So long. Actually, honestly, the last time we probably did this was when we were working on this temple and planning it and setting up for it, uh, getting resources for it. Yeah, it's been a long time. And when I fixed this thing up a little while ago, I said I needed to do this. It's caving time. Don't worry, we will definitely come back to the full worm. We're not done with it at all. We need an item sorter, we need to do the inside. There's a lot of work to do with the thing. We're not done with it yet. I think I'm done with the elytra for today. Chest plate for sure. So there's at least one cave, probably more near the base, that I need to get inside of and light up. If we light it up, the creeper farm is going to work better. And then any other mob farms that I build in the future, maybe I build like a flying mob farm in the sky, uh, it's going to work better too, because all of the caves under the ground have been lit up. The first big cave that we need to move into today is going to be right over here. We took a look at this cave in the most recent Creeper Farm episode. It's right next to the Panda Express. Um, I think it's like right in... <laughs> somewhere in here. I found it. I found it. Here it is. This is this cave right here. The Endermen keep trying to fill it up. This is the cave that we're going to start with lighting up today. During today's episode, we're going to do things a little bit different, though. It's caving time. We've already done a lot of caving, and to be honest, it's probably not going to be that dangerous at all. It should be pretty easy, honestly. The footage that you're going to see in today's episode is real footage, like me doing things, but the commentary is going to be completely different. Instead of commentating the caves and what I'm doing inside of them, we're going to do a Q&A. To get ready for this episode, on my community tab, I dropped a post asking for questions from you guys, and I, I got a lot of questions. Some of those questions are terrible. Uh, most of them are really good though. No, I know. I'm just kidding. I appreciate all the questions. In today's episode, like I'm doing right now, I'm going to head down into the caves, light all the caves up. That's the important part. Get most of the ores out of these things and answer the questions. Now, when it comes to lighting, I have to be good. I have to make sure all of the light, like everywhere in the entire cave system, is higher than like seven or, or eight or, or seven. Or we'll make it nine. We're going to get the cave really, really bright. No mob spawns in the caves means one thing, more mob spawns in the farms. Anyways though, I've already started the mining, definitely time to start the questions. If you liked today's episode, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and enjoy the episode. So I got a lot of questions, like a lot. I did my best to look through all of the questions, or as many as I could. Here are the best ones. Have you ever seen the Endermite mod? And think we can see something like that in the future. So I've never seen the Endermite mod. However, I have been getting really into modding lately. Like it's something that I slept on for so long. Like, I mean, maybe, unless you want to count data packs, Lucky Mob Survival is my first modded series ever. Like I've literally never really gotten into modding. Even before I started making videos like modding, I was like, no, like, like it's, it's too complex. complex. There's, There's too, too much, much to it. it. I'll just play the vanilla game and, and I'll just do that and, and it's easy and I can figure it out and I still have to learn redstone anyways so yeah I've never seen that in my mod but maybe I should check it out one mod that I heard about for a long time and finally checked out and was really glad that I did was that villager guard mod like that thing is crazy like villagers armed and they can kind of defend themselves it's kind of weird. Am I going to do a hardcore survival series? So I have a couple ideas for a couple different series that I want to do, and hardcore is definitely one of them. Hardcore is so fun. I've only really played hardcore once. I did a hardcore series like a while ago now. True gamers will know that technically speaking, that series never ended. So maybe episode 26 is on the way soon. Do I live in Chicago? No, I've been there though. Do you live in Britain or somewhere else? Now, now we're talking. Everybody knows Minecraft YouTubers live in Britain. And plus, if I'm British, I have to live in the United Kingdom. This one's good. This is good. This one hits deep. What's your favorite meme format? So I like all formats. Almost every single meme format I like. They're mostly all good. The old ones aren't really good. I consider myself a man of culture. I like almost every single format. However, is it just me? Or are there like no new like big meme formats right now? Like what's going on? I feel like we need to look into this. I mean, we have like the trade offer memes, which are great. I really like that format. But like other than that, I mean, there's like the Suez Canal memes, which I, I don't I didn't like those memes. Like there's no new memes out. That's really weird. What are your most impressive builds in Minecraft? 
Well, I don't know. I, I guess it's kind of up to you, but my favorite build that I've ever built is definitely the Storage Cathedral. Like, ever since the Spiral Door expansion, I'm just so happy with the build, and I want to, like, add more to it, but I kind of need to stop with it, because if I keep adding things, it's going to start looking like some kind of mutant. Ah, yes, ah, yes. Cereal or milk first? Spoon. All right, so this is a big one. I got this question. I, I counted in, in total 178 times. Minecraft 1.17 guide. What happens? Is this series going to end like it usually does with, with the new updates? Like we ended it in 1.15 and, and kind of 1.16. What about 1.17? So, I've been thinking about this world a lot. This is a really hard question. If you asked me this question a couple months ago, I would have said, yeah, the, the series ends at 1.17. The guide is done. We do something completely different. But a lot has changed since then. The update split. Minecraft 1.17, 1.18. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, like, excited for both updates. They're gonna both be sweet. I mean, it's, a, it's an update. It's free. It's a bunch of new blocks. You cannot complain. However... Uh, 1.18 is the cool one that I'm way more excited for. 1.17 is gonna be cool with the new blocks, but the cave generation and the mountains, like, both of those features are, like, the new base type of vibe, right? Like, Axolotl, we could just bring that back over to the base. Copper, we could just bring that back over to the base. Uh, Deep Slate, we just bring it back over to the base, and we won't even be able to get a lot of Deep Slate in 1.17, I think. So, yeah. I haven't decided for sure yet, but I'm kind of honestly leaning towards keeping this world. Minecraft Guide Season 3 into 1.17 maybe all the way until 1.18 and then once the new caves drop the new mountains and the world generates completely different like it's bigger and everything we restart we make a brand new world we do something entirely different if i keep this world i was thinking that i would probably just wipe a bunch of chunks like kind of south of where we've been building so we have the new generation we could do some caving find the copper get copper build with the stuff find all of the new stuff like bring axolotls back we could build like a gigantic axolotl tank which would be pretty sweet maybe even glow squids i don't know about those minecraft guide 1.17 I think we're gonna stay in this world. There's just so much that I still want to do. Like, with the oceans, we haven't done any of that. I still want to set up, like, an end base or something like that. We haven't done any of it. And there are so many big projects that I have plans for. Like, we just did the sheep one, finally. There are so many different ones. Like, villager things, farm things. There's so much. And honestly, this is my longest world. And I'm, like, obsessed with it still. Like, I'm in love with this world. Like, I get excited to, like, jump into the world and work on a new project and, and make something new. Like, I have a lot of fun with this world. And, like, when I stop having fun with the world, it's over and I, I just can't recover it and I still like this world but right now what I'm almost 100% sure that I'm gonna end up doing is keep this world wipe some of the chunks so we get the new content like the copper and all of the new blocks and everything like that keep the jungle base as like the main base and still work out of it or set up a second base in the 1.17 area link them up with some kind of like ice road or something and yeah just stay in this world keep working on it doing a bunch of projects everything like that but what do you want to see you want to see me keep this world or should I not why did you stop laughing after every sentence you say? The darkness. The darkness. It's just not the same anymore. How's your real life going? How are your pets? Uh, yeah, yeah, my real life is going really, really good. My pets, Felix, just turned one. The boy. We got him in July last year, I think. And he's one years old now, which is crazy. He's like 100 pounds. He's gigantic. I love him. Best thing in the world. And the cats are doing so well, too. Franklin and Cash, they're like best friends. Cash and Felix, though... Honestly, they might be closer friends. If you could travel anywhere in the world right now, where would you want it to be? Paris. I want to go to Paris so bad. Like, it's just beautiful. It looks amazing. I also really want to go to Japan, though. Close second. We can control the night cycle by sleeping. What do you say to us being able to control the other half of the cycle, like skipping the nighttime? Definitely. However, I don't think it should be done with the bed. I think the devs could come up with something a little bit more clever and different to control it, but I've always wished that that was a thing. Like, you could skip to the nighttime. No, I think this would be probably a, a pretty, like, magical item, so maybe something with enchanting, and definitely, like, a more late-game item. Like, maybe you have to go to the end, because it's a weird place anyways, and you find something that can control time in there. I mean, I feel like it would fit with the space vibes, for sure. But yeah, I've always wanted a way to, like, skip the daytime and go to the night, so, like, if you're maybe, like, trying to farm fan or do something at nighttime, then you could actually do that easily instead of just standing around waiting for 10 minutes. It's a waste of time. All right, I got a lot of questions about it. Face reveal, face reveal. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you've seen my Minecraft face, like in the intros. Like, rewind the video. Come on, come on. Like, right at the beginning, I was like standing and looking, like right there. Maybe you missed it. It's fine. Maybe you like blinked or something. Long blink. 
but it's in the intro. What got you into vinyl? Music got me into vinyl. So music is one of my favorite things, like in the world, I love music. And vinyl, like records, I have so many of them. I probably have like, maybe like 200. Like it's, it's kind of crazy. Maybe it's a problem, uh, maybe not, I don't know. A couple of years ago at my first job, when I would get my paycheck, I would literally take the whole paycheck, put it into my bank, and they'd go to the record store and spend it all on records. And it kind of spiraled and it kept going and it kept going. And now I have like a bunch of records and I don't have that old job. Maybe there's a connection. My favorite record right now though is either my Mac Miller Swimming in Circles box set or my Joji one. The new Joji one, I just got it, finally. finally. It took like three years. Okay, not actually, but Urban Outfitters kept pushing it back. It was really annoying. If you could choose, what mob would you put in Minecraft? So I feel like the devs a couple years ago definitely said something about sharks never coming to Minecraft, but I feel like something like the shark should be in the game. Like imagine you're in the ocean, you find like a ruin, you're going down there, and instead of like a drowned with a trident, I mean those could be a thing too, but there's some kind of mob that could be down there, and it like comes up, it, it like attacks you. It doesn't have to be a shark, it could just be like a big fish with big teeth, that looks like a shark, but it's called something different, but some kind of like mean water thing would be sweet. What was your profession before you became successful YouTubers? Nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I did nothing. I mean, I was in high school, if that counts. So high school was my profession. You know what? At this point, I saw it a couple times that I wasn't going to answer it, but I answered every Q&A. How old am I? I'm 24. What is my phone number? I can't say it this time. Maybe in the next Q&A though. And what is my height? I've told you this before. It's very tall. Enderman Farm in the Guide series. That's a project that I've kind of been putting off for, for a reason. I, I wanted to do like the Ender Farm with like an end base, like set up a whole hub out there, maybe even just based around the Ender Farm. That could be sweet. It just depends on like how noisy the farm is, to be honest. But yeah, Enderman Farm in the Guide series. That's one of those reasons that I want to keep this world into 1.17. If I reset, then I'm like way farther from ever actually making it to an end base. I've never even set up an end base before. So it's something that I really want to do. And I feel like it's something that should be like, pretty late game like like way after another hub way after the overworld base you know things like that so that's another reason that i kind of want to keep the world into 1.17 so we can actually like head into the end set up a whole moon base make sweet stuff over there what's the bare minimum computer specs you need to record minecraft and other similar games so i don't know honestly i'm not very good with specs but i can tell you that i started making videos on this old laptop it was a really bad laptop. It was like lagging. I don't even know what it was. It would get really, really hot. I would basically hook that laptop up to my PlayStation with my game capture and record that way and it would lag like crazy. But I wasn't really playing on the computer at the same time. That laptop would be the minimum. Why no sponsor? That's a good question. I don't know why no sponsor yet. If you could choose what 1.19 is, like the update after the Caves and Glyphs update, what would you want it to be? So that's a really good question. There are two main things right now that I would say it should be. It should either be a big update that redoes the end because the end is really lame now. Like look at the new nether, it looks so good. The overworld, the caves and everything, it's gotten a lot of love. The end is boring. Like imagine end biomes or maybe like different types of islands that you can find. Maybe islands that are like higher up and lower down. They're all on like the same Y level basically. There's so much potential with the end. However, there are also a lot of features that are kind of like on the waiting list, like the old biome things, like the swamp, chest boat. I mean, come on, the Badlands, uh, the Savannah biome. Yeah, maybe like a like a biome update to just catch up all of the old biomes. That would be pretty cool to see in 1.19.2. And I, I mean, it would be like a medium sized update. It'd be like kind of like the B update, but for like a bunch of different biomes. You'd have like three new things in one biome, three new things over there, three new things over there. Yeah, I, I think that would be pretty sweet. And uh, the big thing, it would catch up all the features so then they could do like more biome votes at Minecon. I, I think it's a cool idea, but they just need to get the old ones of the game. Why don't you build something utterly useless? Something to compensate 1,000k. That's a really good idea. I never thought about that, actually. We should totally do that. When did you start dedicating so much effort into detailing your builds? I'm trying to get more interesting with my builds after watching your series. So honestly, I still consider myself not very good of a builder, to be honest. Like, I don't know. I usually like a build when I build it, and then afterwards, like, I go back and the look at the build, and I just don't feel it. When I go back to the old world, like Guide Season 2, I look at the builds, and I'm just like, oh, like, for the most part, like, ugh, disgusting. Like, I mean, I really liked those pumpkin farms that we set up in that world. I was really happy with those, and, like, the, uh, the sword silo that's probably my favorite now but one thing that can really help a build and make it look better and i've been learning this a lot is detailing the build and like the space around the build really i've tried to start like detailing my builds and putting like a lot of thought into what i'm doing on the build and around the build 
in this world to be honest so that would have been in like september last year i mean i always tried but i feel like i'm finally like starting to actually like get the hang of it and the builds are coming out like how i'm imagining them in my head so yeah i've always tried to dedicate so much effort but i feel like i'm finally like getting a little bit better at it i still need to improve a lot but getting better at it now a follow-up question now how do you become a better builder really it's just trial and error like try building different things and different designs and different styles like in my last world i tried to build with acacia wood and it was a disaster and then this time i've committed to the current theme that i've been doing and just building in that and trying to like really learn the theme switch the blocks up and if you've never built before to become a better builder you have to build what feature would you like to see improved or added that isn't in 1.17 or 1.18 so i'm gonna go with um improved and it's technically not in the game but it's a cool idea that i've had so amethyst geodes they're in the game but what isn't in the game an amethyst geode biome or huge geode we'll call it gigantic geodes imagine this so you have an amethyst geode under the ground that is like maybe like 50 blocks long 50 blocks tall it could be like an oval shape or something it's encased in something when you go inside of it of course it's just all amethyst it would be like an entire biome even though it's not really a biome it's just a huge geode now these huge geodes would be insanely rare like really rare not as rare as a fossil but like pretty uncommon I feel like it would just be so cool and it would be like amazing you find this thing you carve out like half of it or something and it's like a backdrop for a base or it's just like your entire base inside of the giant geode amethyst growing all around it would be so cool another thing that i would add that isn't in 1.18 1.17 more biomes more cave biomes do you have merch hey wait it looks like that question might be for me yes i have merch though it's down below the video link to the description merch bench 1000k gang check it out please tell us how you and your wife are you haven't mentioned her since blaze farm episode i think we should get an update <laughs> that makes it sound like she's like gone missing she's doing good she still hasn't really played minecraft though so we're working on it maybe one day i talk about her and real life a little bit more on twitter though also good memes so check it out when you replace a toilet paper roll do you let it hang off the front or the back ah yes the great question i'm i'm warning you you should take a seat this isn't a joke but i don't care which way it goes sometimes i put it forward sometimes i put it backwards it doesn't make a difference so long as there's paper if you had to get rid of a wood type which type would it be goodbye acacia hello azalea wood we replace it what type of guide episode do you like making the most uh i don't know i guess it kind of depends some days i'm in the mood for building so i really like a building episode but i always love a farm like making a new farm in the world it's a great feeling every single time and will there be another nether survival 2.0 maybe i've seen a couple questions about it lately a couple people have been asking me about that maybe actually at first i would have said no but it was really fun maybe ah uh, finally the surface i missed the surface so much so i finished a lot of the cave today uh but if i go down the staircase it leads right to the bit where i left off i've been mining for like an hour and a half now i mean don't get me wrong i like mining but i really thought that i would finish sooner i thought there were way less caves and it turns out there's a gigantic cave system like over there under the plains biome so we're gonna have to get that lit up soon of course though of course you don't really care about the cave no way no way you actually care about definitely what i found so my inventory is a little messy uh here it is I, I have some stuff in here lots of blocks of coal and then the big thing this right here so everything that i found is inside of the shulker box so much iron a ton of blocks of coal it's like look at this three stacks a little bit more uh, a little bit of gold too 18 diamonds total 18 is beautiful it will add to our total right here we're doing good my goal is to soon get so many diamonds like way more than this i tried to get basically everything that i could find and in the end i started passing up a little bit of the coal and some of the iron and i was surprised i really didn't find that much gold at all like usually i would find at least a little bit more at least compared to everything else but no no way i mean it's gold so maybe i didn't find a bunch of it but still would have been nice to find a little bit more mining is honestly so fun though i don't know why i don't do it more like it's so calming like i just put on a youtube video in mine and it's perfect i ended up despawning a bunch of the random blocks that i would find f in the chat for andesite it was tragic granite is gone too diorite we don't care about that but yeah i had to despawn a bunch of the blocks i just didn't have enough space i definitely should have brought a second shulker box comment of the day so i was gonna do a comment this time last episode we did a subreddit thing but the whole episode has kind of been comments hey waddles i also made a few automatic sheep farms and added a rainbow on top to fit the theme 
Here it is in all of its colorful glory with the end rods in there connecting the farms too. I have to say that's a really cool idea. One thing that I've always wanted to add to like a, like a sheep farm or some kind of wool build is like a gigantic rainbow in the sky. I'm still trying to decide if it would really like fit into the world over here. Like I wanted to make everything match, right? And, and like not look weird, but like imagine this. If we have the, the wool factory like right over there, then we have a gigantic stained glass rainbow in the background. Like that would be amazing that would be so cool and it would kind of be like a reference you know to all of the sheep inside of the farm also i have to come back to this build in lucky mob survival when we built the potato towers i did the wall the fences and and then the iron bars and i feel like that combo like right in here would help this spot look so much better i'm still like honestly not entirely happy with it i mean it looks fine um but it could be better minecraft guide 118 Thank you all for watching. I have a special episode on the way very soon. Next episode, we're going to do something that a lot of you have been asking me to do for a long time. Remember to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. All of my links are in the description. It's been me. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.